Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nanny News. It's your host, Ashley, AKA Nanny Announcements. And on this episode, we're gonna be talking about how a nanny charged their families extra money on top of her salary for letting the dog out, for signing packages, for filling the dog's water up. <laughs> get ready for it, y'all. It's a juicy one. So get sit back and relax, and let's get ready for another juicy episode. Before we get in to the juiciness of the week, we got to talk about our sponsorship because we have another wonderful business that is sponsoring Nanny News for today. And today's sponsorship is Nanny Pernu Magazine. Now, what is Nanny Pernu Magazine? Well, Nanny Pernu will be our community's very own dictionary of everything Nanny owned and Nanny supported. Nanny Pernu is creating a space where parents can find businesses that are family and childcare related. Housing them all in one place makes it easier for advertising and marketing. This magazine is going to be huge for our industry. You can basically consider it as the yellow page for this industry. If you're needing an agency in your city, if you're needing a, um, wanting to know if there's anybody that's selling childcare products, if there's anybody selling childcare related courses, become all the way from newborn, all the way up to being adolescents, you will be able to find in this magazine. It is going to be Huge, y'all. Okay, huge. Nanny Pernu, though, is hosting their very first own event. You guys, this is huge. They are hosting a Nanny Professional Develop Training Day in New York City on in one week on April 30th. It's a Saturday. It's going to be held in New York City. So if you're on the East Coast, you got about a week to figure out how you're going to get there. And if you're on the West Coast or in the Midwest, you got a week to figure out how you're going to get there. So what will be um, included in this? What What is happening in this conference, you may ask? Well, the guest speakers will be Kimberly, a.k.a. Nanny Kim on the Go, and Shada, which is a.k.a. Nanny Shars. They will be um, having four different training sessions, which is from building your brand online, finding your, um, your confidence in the workplace, nanny etiquette, and conflict resolution, which Nanny Kim on the go will be doing some role play in, as well included in that. There are two different types of tickets that you can purchase. There is a VIP ticket that is going for $125, which includes a live Q&A, group coaching, a swag bag, a continental breakfast, plus one hour of coaching from Nanny Shars and Nanny Kim on the go. It is a deal, $125, and you get all of that. There are general admission tickets going for $75. Plus, they are offering sponsorships and vendors for $150. Last time I talked to Kim, she had six sponsorships and vendors left. So if you are wanting to sponsor this wonderful event and you're wanting to or be a vendor come and be and sell some of your products please reach out to nanny kim on the go as soon as possible you can purchase your tickets at www.nannykimonthego.com or you can head over to at nannypreneur on instagram and find it in their link in their bio and go ahead and Follow them if you have not, because you want to stay in tune of when this wonderful magazine is going to launch its first magazine. I oh, I can't wait. And I got to share a little announcement. 
I'm working with Danny Preneur Magazine. I'm going to be their marketing year where I'm going to be helping them um, promote some of their things. So you'll be seeing me on their page as well. So just y'all go check out Nanny Preneur Magazine. Go follow them. Give them some love. Because I promise you when this magazine comes out, you do not want to miss it. Okay? I promise. Okay? And also, don't forget... April 30th, in one week, they will be hosting their first ever Nanny Training Development Day. We'll have four different training sessions, and tickets can be purchased at nannykimonthego.com. <laughs> so, now that we talked about our sponsorship, it's time to get ready for the juiciness. So, let's go. Okay, so for this story... I thought it was kind of funny, y'all. Um, and I really want to hear your guys' opinions after I share this story because it is a very opinionated story. And I'll share my opinion on it. But I want to hear from y'all at the end, okay? So can y'all please do me a favor and let me know what you think in the comments below. So this story is about a mom who posted on one of those mom online groups. And it first started out, her title of her post said, Is this normal so let's see what she got to say because sometimes it may not be normal to the parents but it's definitely normal to us in the nanny industry so i was very intrigued to see what is this normal so it goes on to say that her and her husband hired their first ever nanny for their seventh month old son so we all know how this goes first time nanny and first time son, first time parent. So there's a lot of firsts in here. So there, it's a learn, it's all a, a learning process. If you're a first time mom, a first time hiring a first time nanny, it's all learning per process. If you are first time, first year in nanny world, it's a learning process. You live and you learn in this industry. But as we are, okay. So anyways, everything was going good with the nanny. Besides one thing, like always, there's always one thing that's going wrong. Everything's going good, but there's one little thing. So during the interview, the family had asked for some additional help with um, besides just raising the child, uh, besides just the child's needs, which is um, basically making sure that he's fed, um, you know, just the daily things that we do as nannies. But the family was asking, was wondering if they can um, have a little bit more extra help, which is by letting the dog out when he's home from daycare um, to fill his dog bowl up occasionally pre preheat the oven um when they ask but the main task was is going to be taking care of the children now as nannies we all know that when we sit down in contracts that we lay out everything that they would like us to do and this is even the additional help they would like on top of this um on top of what their main help is so listen to this so the family asked if they could have some extra help. And during the interview, the nanny denied that help. She said that she didn't, she said that she would be able to do those tasks, but she would have to charge for each of those tasks on top of her daily, on top of her salary. Well, um, so then the family offered if she could pay, if they could pay her more, you know, like, what if we just pay you more so you don't have to charge us for those, those, those extra charges. And the fam and the nanny denied that. She wanted to keep this how she had it, where she was going to be charged for, charge the family every little task that they wanted her to do besides working with the, ch with the kid. So... I'm guessing that everything went fine in the interview after that because the story doesn't talk about more about the interview. It just talks about after, you know, later on. So I'm assuming that they agreed to that and they was like, I guess the family just was assuming that, all right, well, maybe we just won't ask her to help her, you know, do extra help or things like that. So they agreed to hire this nanny. And um, then this is where it gets, this is where it gets juicy. So they agreed to hire this nanny and from one day then mom received an itemized email from the nanny basically charging her extra on, on top of all the other additional tasks that she had to do. Some of the tasks that she would charge from would be check the, if the garage was closed, say the mom accidentally just was making sure that she closed the garage, the nanny charged her for that. Um, the nanny charged for letting the dog 
come in from going outside, she charged $5, which she charged $5 six times for doing that because they asked her to do it six times letting the dog out. So she charged $5 for that every time she let the dog in and out. Um, she charged six times for feeding up $5 for feeding the dog's food on the floor. <laughs> she charged for signing one package for $8. So she had to sign for a package and she charged them $8. Um, she charged them $5 when she they asked her to close the garage. It was a grand total of $98 on top of the other pay, on top of her normal pay. The mom asked if she could just add it to her paycheck. You know, the mom got the itemized email. The mom wasn't really surprised because during the interview, the nanny said that she was going to do this and the family agreed. So here they are asking for additional help and the nanny is protecting herself, I'm assuming. And the mom, and she asked if she could put it on her paycheck. And the nanny said, no, again. She said, no, I only want this money strictly for Venmo purposes only. I don't want it on my paycheck. I want it on my Venmo. Another smart thing. Um, and then the mom goes on to ask in the, in, at the end, is this normal behavior? Now, this is where it gets, this is where I was like, okay, this is where I want y'all's opinion. Do y'all think this is normal? Now, there's a couple red flags that are sitting out to me, right? Number one, the nanny, when they, when they had the interview with the nanny, the nanny already warned them exactly how she likes things to be run. And the family agreed to that. Now, here it is, it is that the family has asked for additional help and the, fa and the nanny is doing exactly what she said she was going to do in the interview. And now you're asking and questioning, is this normal or is this right? Now you should have been you should have thought about this before you had hired the nanny. Number one for her family. Number two, I understand exactly where this nanny is coming from. Being a nanny, you have to learn how to protect yourself at all causes, and I'm talking making sure that you protect yourself at every single thing. There's a reason why she only wants this money on Vimbo because Vimbo, you don't get taxed on. On her paycheck, she's probably getting taxed on. So of course she does not wanna get taxed on the additional help that she's paying for. Secondly, the nanny did nothing wrong. I mean, thirdly, I don't even know what number I'm on. The nanny did nothing wrong. The nanny warned the family how she wanted things to be done and the, and the family agreed. That's why we say interviews are so so important in our industry. If you remember me talking about um, a couple episodes, things I wish I would have known before a nanny and it became a nanny. And the number one thing was knowing that these interviews are in-depth interviews because this is exactly why. As nannies, you have to sit down in these interviews and make sure that you get every single thing across. And if you don't get every single thing across in that interview, making sure that you go back into your contract later on in a couple months when you sit down for another re uh, another review or just a check-in making sure that you're adding those things back in if you you know find out that you need to add some things at the end of the day y'all we have as nannies have to learn how to protect ourselves and my opinion on this is that the nanny did nothing wrong and the family that's your fault for agreeing to for agreeing to hire this nanny because she warned you that she didn't want to be paid you know, more than what, you know, she wanted to be paid extra for each task that she was asked to do. And she told you that she was going to charge you for each task. So you can't not be mad. You cannot ask if this is normal because the nanny warned you. Now, this is where I, there are some nannies that responded to this message because some nannies followed in this group that the mother posted in. And some of these nannies are some veteran nannies. And I'm going to read some of their responses. This one, this is the number one response that stood out. This nanny said, I think she's confused. It is common for parents to add a dollar to $10, maybe one to $5 to the hour late if they're asking the nanny to do light house work chores like dishes, laundry, vacuuming. I wouldn't consider any of the tasks you mentioned causing to charge more as most charging more as most of them only take a few seconds to complete. I think she's taking advantage of you. I can't imagine asking for $93 for such small tasks. Now another nanny 
responded to what she said and she said this is what i think too younger slash old inexperienced nannies probably read horror stories of other nannies actually getting ex exploded and underpaid so they wanted to set a percentage of what of not being underpaid but i would say to her itemizing it and not having it taxed is, un is unreasonable um a nanny of 18 years said she's never heard of evan anything anything like that so I want to know at your comment. I really want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this nanny is in the wrong for charging her family all these extra charges? So she remember, let me go back. She charged to let the dog out. for she, Every time they asked her to let the dog out, it was $5. And they asked her to do that six times. So she, they got charged $5 times six. Um, they put the putting the dog's food on the floor. That six, she did that six times. Five dollars each time. She signed one package, which was eight dollars the time she signed, and preheating the oven was ten dollars for each time that she asked, and she got asked twice. Um, when they asked her to close the garage, the one time she got charged, they charged her ninety-five. I mean, not uh, five dollars with a grand total of ninety-five dollars. So I just yeah, comment below. I got to know what your opinion is. I told you what I think is. At the end of the day, the nanny was right in the interview by keeping it up front. Because the mom did mention that the na they told the nanny they were going to need additional help. And the nanny disagreed right then and there. So that should have been the red flag for the family automatically. So personally, as an, I think it's, I personally I think it's kind of, I mean, maybe kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, I'm over here thinking like, Baby, you got my juices flowing, okay? I'm like, darn it, because I do all of this, baby, and all of this, if not some more. And I'm thinking, like, um, you want me, I'm thinking, like, um, I need to be doing this, okay? But at the same time, I, I, I get where the family is coming from, too, where it, met, it doesn't seem normal because, you know, as in a corporate America job, they don't do these type of things. But... I don't know, y'all. I got to hear your story. So comment below what y'all think about this. Do you think the nanny was wrong for charging all these? Or do you think she was all right because she warned them? Let me know in the comments below.